we've said the whole time as we've preached this series that the Ten Commandments are a communal ethic. In other words, that this is casting for us a vision of what the people of God ought to look like. This is God's vision for a beautified and redeemed church. This is what God's people are to manifest. And so we could say it this way. God's people, redeemed and transformed by Jesus Christ, are a non-covetous people, are a content people, are a satisfied people, a people who have found lasting contentment in Jesus. What does that look like? Well, here's some of the representations of that among us. Here's what that will look like in our life together. It will mean there's a deep and lasting joyfulness. Like we can rejoice with those who rejoice. We find ourselves able to celebrate other people's successes and say, man, that's awesome. I'm so glad you landed that new house. I'm so glad you got that promotion. I'm so glad God's graced you with that particular blessing in your life. Good for you. We can rejoice with those who rejoice. We can weep with those who weep. It also looks like freedom. We're free from the love of money like Hebrews 13 talks about. So that we can be radically generous and open-handed. We're not stingy and greedy and tight and miserly, but we are liberal and generous. Why? Because we're free. We're content. It looks like love. I I can really celebrate the joys of others. I can love them by celebrating what God's given them to celebrate. It looks like simplicity. I'm content. My wants haven't morphed into needs, right? That I can be simply satisfied with what I have. And as Paul says, whether whether what I have is little or much, I can learn to be satisfied and content in that. 